Hello everyone, this is Plan with Eva on Instagram. This week I'm going to be planning with this House of Stickers kit and it's going to be the for the week of August 2nd to the 8th. I am almost caught up, but when school starts, it'll probably slow back down. This video is a lot shorter than usual because I actually pulled all my um, kind of foil decorations ahead of time. Um, since I don't have a lot of rose gold foil, which is what this kit is, it was a lot easier for me to kind of decorate my spread and I really, really loved how it turned out. I think I'm getting a little bit better at the floral decorations and you guys are going to see that in a little bit. But to talk about some of the things that happened this week, uh, I was able to go to a pool day with my friend on Monday, but it was a super fail because it was actually super cloudy here. Um, we thought it was going to clear up, but it ended, it ended up being a little bit chillier, so we ended up just stopping. Um, we went to get pizza, and then um, we tried to go look at bride bride dresses, but um, most of the places require appointments, so we weren't able to just go in to look. I was able to sneak in some workouts because I was going to be getting LASIK on Friday, which was super exciting, super scary, and I was so, so nervous for it. Um, I was trying to prep myself and slash avoid everything about knowing about LASIK, and I, w I didn't know which was going to get me more scared if I was going to watch everything or not, so I was kind of avoiding everything, and then the day before, I just kind of like did a whole session of watching all the videos about it. Um, and when I got there, it was just super nerve-wracking. Um, that was probably the most exciting thing this week and the fact that I was able to do some more venue visits, um, but definitely the LASIK. Um, for the LASIK, since um, you guys will probably be curious about it, I was super nervous. We got into the um, the waiting room with a lot of different people. They like scheduled us at around the same time, I'm assuming, because there was around 10 people there and everyone just filed their paperwork and whoever was done first was the per first person to go. And I guess I got there a little bit later. I was having some problems with um, parking and it was a super rainy day too, I remember. Um, so I got there a little bit later and I finished my paperwork a little later than everyone. So there was about six people in front of me. And I'm the kind of person, if I'm going to do something scary and anxious, like, given, um, I want to just get it over with. So the fact that I had to sit there and wait so long and just see six people go in and get out, even though it was a super fast process, it was just nerve-wracking just to wait for the anticipation of what was about to happen. Um, so basically, I was waiting there. They gave us some pills to take um, to help with the bruising and to help us sleep after the surgery, after the procedure was done. Um, and when we got inside, that I told the doctor how I was feeling, basically, and that I was nervous. They gave me a stress ball, which was really, really helpful. Um, usually when I go to the dentist or when I get my tattoos done, I have this habit of, like, digging my nails into my skin um, as a distraction to from the pain that's happening elsewhere <laughs> or the, um, the possibility of pain that may have happening elsewhere. So having a stress ball was helpful because I was able to squeeze it instead of myself. Um, and the doctor was very descriptive on everything that was happening and kind of giving me seconds and percentages um, of how things were going to be done. And I don't know how it is for everyone. If they Maybe they all do it the same, maybe they don't. But I was super grateful for it. If you haven't been following me for a while, whenever I do my workouts for Chloe Ting or anything like that, I love to break my workouts down by increments. It really helps me to feel like the time is passing by a lot faster. So the fact that he was able to do that with the whole procedure, it was really, really helpful. So um, the first step is basically cutting the eye and numbing it and doing all of that cleaning, sanitizing and all of that on your eye, I believe. Um, so when that was happening, he was kind of telling me like how much longer it's going to take for each step. Um, he told me before he was going to do something, if he was going to use some Q-tips to wipe my eyes, he was going to, he said that beforehand. Um, and then afterwards he would be like, we're 25% done. And then the next step he would tell me about it and then we would do it. And then he would tell me we're 50% done. Um, after that one machine, there's actually two machines. The second one's the actual laser that does the, does everything. Um, so when I did the laser part, that was actually the part that was a lot easier. The first part when they kind of put the thing that's, um, the first machine, the scariest thing was when they put something that I can best describe as an eye opener. Um, it looks like a mascara thing. It looks like tongs and it basically keeps your eye open for the whole procedure. And during the whole process, the doctor basically was telling me to blink as much times as I can, even though I want to close my eyes and it would just help with the process. 
Um, so that was really difficult to do because when something comes towards your eyes, your natural instinct is to kind of move or close your eyes, I mean, um, not move. Um, and that was the probably the part that was making me most anxious. The actual laser part itself wasn't that bad and was a lot faster. And they always talk about the smell that you smell and it wasn't even bothering me that much because I was so nervous about something going wrong. So I was just kind of distracting myself with that thought um, instead of that smell. It, that wasn't really bothering me too much. After the laser of one eye, he told me we were 75% done. So then they went on to the other eye and it was the same thing. And the thing he was telling you to do of blinking, that also really helped me to not think about anything else too much because I was trying to tell myself like remember to blink because it seems like such an easy thing to do but it was really difficult because I kept wanting to close my eyes. Um, so that was, it was just an exciting procedure, scary procedure and as much videos as I could have watched it, I don't, I don't think you like ever know what that feeling is until you're actually there and I was trying to tell my cousin that like I don't think anything could have prepped me for it. I think I just had to do it for me to know what it was like. I forgot to zoom in for this part so I hope you guys don't mind but it's going to be zoomed in in a second so the camera might be a little shaky. Um, but for the LASIK I'm really extremely happy that I did it. It's amazing to see with no help from anything else. Um, and it's just been crazy trying to deal with it. After the process is over, you kind of just go through days of just um, fixing your eyes by putting a lot of drops in them. Um, so that's kind of what I've been doing. And I I think I healed pretty okay. The doctor said I was fine. I went on my checkup like this past Monday and nothing was wrong. And I didn't have to go back for another mandatory checkup. So that was really nice. Um, but if I were had to do it again, I would still be the same amount of scared, I think. <laughs> If you guys have any more questions, maybe you can leave it down below and I'll try to answer as many as I can in my next video. Um, I'll kind of keep a list of all of them if you guys are curious about anything else. Uh, moving on to my spread, I hope you guys loved how I decorated that checklist that I saw on Monday. I just really loved how that flower from JK Creates Co. accented the checklist. Um, I've never seen a checklist like this, so I didn't know how it was going to look in the spread, but with the flowers there, I think it really helped a lot. And I added little floral accents everywhere. These are just from samplers that I've gotten from JK Creates Co., Olive Planner, um, Clo, and Sadie Stickers, and different people like that. Two other things that happened this week was I got to go to watch the movie Blackpink the movie. And I was also able to watch The Suicide Squad, which was on Disney Plus, I believe. Um, Blackpink, the movie, I think it was a jip. If you were able to watch the online concert, you really didn't need to watch the movie at all. Um, they basically incorporated different parts of the documentary, I think, and also the concert and kind of made it this experience. I don't know what I was expecting out of it, but it was basically watching the concert on a big screen, um, which I already watched a concert from my home in my iMac, so it was good enough for me to watch it here, but that, that was kind of what it was. And I had to drag along my husband to go with me because I didn't want to go by myself. Um, and he was just regretting it because he was hoping it was more of a documentary and wasn't more like a concert. Um, for Suicide Squad, I did thoroughly enjoy it. I think I'm biased though because I love Margot Robbie or Robbie. Um, I just love her a lot in the movie as Harley Quinn, so I really enjoyed the movie, but there was a lot of strange things that happened that I didn't care for, like the weasel creeped me out, so I really didn't enjoy that. The main, main, main villain at the end, I don't want to do any spoilers, so, um, that's all I'll say, the huge thing at the end, um, that I did not care for, <laughs> um, and also the shark I did not care for as well. There was just so many weird characters and... I don't know where it came from and I think it was the same director as Guardians of the Galaxy which I also don't enjoy the editing of um, so that might also be why I don't like didn't like it as much um, but I still enjoyed it evenly throughout because Harley Quinn was still there and I just liked her acting in the whole storyline um, but other than that I think I'm gonna let the rest of the video play out I hope you guys enjoy um, if you guys have any questions just leave me a thing down below and I'll try to answer them um, but I just loved specifically how I decorated these venue decorations if you look at them. I just used a lot of different elements from different shops and I really liked how they turned out so I'm very proud of them. Um, but I'll see you guys in a little bit to say goodbye.
and that is my whole spread i really really loved how i decorated this spread i don't have that much rose gold decoration so i was amazed at how i was able to do with the little that i had um if you guys are ever needing inspiration to get pr freebies i think this is your way to go um a lot of these floral decorations and swooshes that i got were from pr codes that i used and i just loved how it turned out and i hope you guys enjoyed watching i'll see you guys next time thank you so much again and check out my instagram plan with eva Bye.